Hello, and welcome to this edition of Outdoor Wonders, a devotional where we discover biblical lessons from God's great outdoors. I'm your host, David Garner. For more devotionals and object lessons, visit OutdoorLessons.org. Today's lesson is titled, Rock Climbing and Prayer. Our key verse, He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be greatly shaken. Psalm 62, 2, KJV. As you cling to the rock, sweat drips off your brow. Your hands are getting slick and clammy. You breathe rapidly, and you can feel your heart beating in your body. You are lead climbing, 75 feet off the ground and 6 feet past your last anchor. You are still a few feet from the next bolt. You know if you fall now, it will be at least a 12-foot drop but you're not sure if you can hold on much longer. Then the doubt starts to flash before your mind. Did you place that last quick draw correctly? Did you back clip? Did you check to make sure it was bomber? Can your belayer even see you after that last roof? Does he even know what you're going through? Or is he down there not paying attention, distracted by his new girlfriend he brought along? Sometimes in life, we go through similar situations. We struggle and struggle up the difficulties of life. Sometimes it's fun. Other times it becomes real and serious, even dangerous. We work hard to create anchors in our life. We try to set them to catch us in case we slip. We wear our seatbelt. We have some money saved aside. We have some solid friends in case our relationships don't work out. We assume our parents will always be there to support and help us. But can we always trust that those anchors will be there? What if our friends move away? What if we don't have enough money for an emergency? What if our parents split up or even die? Do we have a second backup? Are our anchors in life redundant? In some situations they may be. But if we start to think about it, we may realize they are not. When the going gets tough, we may start to doubt that our anchors will hold up. As Christians, we have another anchor. Our anchor to the rock that David speaks about in Psalms is the Word of God. It is there to assure us that God is real and who He claims to be. Just as important as our rope, our connection to the anchor, prayer. This is how we stay connected. When the going gets rough and we can't double check the anchor, we have prayer at our disposal. It is the lifelink to God our rock. We can know that our God is always listening, even if our earthly belayer gets distracted by their girlfriend or boyfriend. Here's a question to ponder. Has prayer ever kept you connected when everything else has fallen away?